As you can see, as of April 2024, the in-car search experience is not as good with Siri or Google Assistant at this moment. So this is where our friend ChatGPT come into the picture. And this is how the ChatGPT experience will be look like in the car. Siri. Start a voice conversation with ChatGPT. I'm on my way driving to Las Vegas. What are the top three attractions that I should visit in 100 words? That sounds like an exciting trip. In Las Vegas, you definitely won't want to miss the Bellagio Fountains, an iconic water show. It's a breathtaking experience. Next, explore the free experience for a taste of old Vegas with its vintage neon signs, live entertainment, and unique overhead light show. Lastly, visit the Highway Observation Field to get some views of the safe from above. Um, these attractions offer great mix of beauty, history, and panoramic sights that really capture the essence of Las Vegas. Enjoy your trip. And how about give me three top hotels on this trip? Sure. The Bellagio Hotel is famous for its elegance and the beautiful fountains out front. It's a great choice if you're looking for luxury and central location. Uh, another top choice is the Venetian Resort, which offers spacious suites and an impressive Italian-themed environment and complete with condo rides. Lastly, the Las Vegas stands out with its modern luxury, exceptional service, and beautiful pools. All three hotels offer a wide range of amenities and are centrally located on the strip, making them perfect for exploring the best Las Vegas. Give me the average price of the above hotels uh, per night. Average and in general should be okay. The average price per night for these hotels generally ranges as follows. The Bellagio often ranges from about $200 to $400 per night, depending on the season and room type. The Venetian Resort typically ranges from about $200 to $500 per night. Uh, the Las Vegas has similar pricing, usually between $250 to $500 per night, and prices can vary based on specific dates, events in town, and how early you book. Generate a Google Maps URL for Venetian Hotel. Here's the Google Maps URL for the Venetian Resort in Las Vegas. Google.com slash map slash place the Venetian Resort Las Vegas. Please open your app to see this link. All right, let's see how do we set this up. First, I'm going to go to my Apple Store. And then once I go open my Apple Store, I'm going to search for ChatGPT. All right, found it. And I will install the latest version. Once it's done, I'm going to open it. Of course, I'm going to log in. All right, once I sign in, that's it. And I'm going to quit ChatGPT, and I will search for another app called Shortcut. And the shortcuts will be looks like that. I'm going to be clicking that. All right, after that, I'm going to click the plus sign to add a new shortcut. I'm going to click Add Action, in the search bar, I'm also going to search for ChatGPT again. All right, found it. I'm going to click the ChatGPT icon. And look at the second one. Start voice conversation with ChatGPT. I'm going to click that. All right, that's it. And I will click done. And I can do a test, starting with start voice conversation with ChatGPT. The first time, it will ask me to do a setup with what voice do I want to use. I'm going to choose a voice. Hi there. I just want to share how thrilled I am to work right, with you, confirm. and I can't. And allow the access to my microphone. All right. Now the setup has been completed. All right, let's go back. And remember, in the future, Siri will use the start with conversation with ChatGPT as your command to start this conversation. Let's do a test. Hey Siri, start voice conversation with ChatGPT. And this is how it's getting started. That's all for today's video, and I hope this is helpful, and I will see you in the next video.